Very good afternoon. You're watching the headlines with me. I'm the Pavli Hasra. Making a big announcement in the Lok Sabha today, Prime Minister Modi announced the government had set up a trust that would take decisions independently for the construction of a Ram Temple in Ayodhya. UP Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath welcomed the decision and thanked the Prime Minister. Home Minister Amit Shah hailed the Prime Minister for including a Dalit member on the Shri Ram Janmabhoomi Kshetra Trust. Shiv Sena welcomed the centre's announcement to set up a 15-member trust to oversee the construction of the Ram Temple at Ayodhya. Sena's Sanjay Raut, however, said it was the government's responsibility to set up the trust after the Supreme Court's direction. Meanwhile, AIMIM Chief Asaduddin Owesi questioned the timing of the BJP's announcement coming just two days ahead of the Delhi Assembly polls. Union Law and IT Minister Ravi Shankar Prasad, replying to a question in Parliament, said that there were no plans to link social media profiles with Aadhaar card. He also said that steps were being taken to curb fake news and pornography. He noted that revenge porn cases were on a rise in India. Prime Minister Modi has arrived in Lucknow for the inaugural ceremony of the Def Expo 2020. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh, UP Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath and UP Governor Anandi Ben Patel will also be present at the event. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has invited Home Minister Amit Shah to a debate as the 1pm deadline for the BJP to announce the Chief Ministerial candidate expired. He also said that Delhi would decide if he were a terrorist or not with their vote. Earlier, Kejriwal's family had hit out at the terrorist barbs that were directed at him by the BJP. Even though several photos show Shaheen Bark shooter Kapil Gujjar with senior AAP leaders like Sanjay Singh and Atishi Marlena, his family has denied any connection with the party. Kapil's father told the media that he used to be associated with the BSP but quit politics later. He claims the photo was taken when Aam Aadmi Party leaders came campaigning to their locality and put caps on everyone. Superstar turned politician Rajni Kant cleared his stance on the Citizenship Amendment Act, saying that this act is not against Muslims and that they have nothing to fear from this law. He also said that the National Population Register is necessary. He alleged that opposition parties with vested interests were instigating crowds to protest. China has deployed the People's Liberation Army to support and treat patients affected by the coronavirus. The military staff are expected to serve in Wuhan, which is the epicenter, for at least a month. They have experience in handling epidemics like the Ebola as well as uh, SARS earlier. The death toll now due to coronavirus has reached 490 in China. The hostility between US President Donald Trump and Speaker Nancy Pelosi was evident Tuesday night when Trump delivered his State of the Union speech at the House chamber. As Trump walked into the room, he appeared to reject a handshake offered by Pelosi. Pelosi returned the snub by tearing up a copy of Trump's speech after his address. Remember, Pelosi had led the drive to impeach Trump. That's all for now. Stay tuned for more.